in line. Please hold for the next available agent. Hello. Um, the last time I uh, called, uh, I asked uh, what the crane is uh, a confirmation reminder of, and I don't know if it was you or someone else, but you said that, or they said, or he said that uh, when the crane says it's a it's a confirmation reminder of that which is before it, it's confirming and reminding of the Bible only. When the Bible says, uh, Hero Israel, the Lord the God is one. But guess what? I couldn't find in the Quran that that is what is meant when the Quran says it's a confirmation reminder of that which before it, that is the Bible. Can you give me a scripture from the Quran or a passage from the Hadith that that is what the Quran means when it says it's a confirmation reminder of that which before it? Also, could you give me the Quran? Oh, just a minute. Could you give me the Quranic scripture that says that when the Quran, that when Quran 1094 tells um, you, if you're in doubt about the Quran, to come to me for my reading the before scriptures, it's only to ask me if someone like Muhammad can be a prophet. I mean, where is that in the Quran that Quran 1094 is talking about when it says? that if you are in doubt about the Quran, go to those who read the before scriptures. And anyway, I wait your uh, answer here. Okay. Now, as, first of all, I could not really understand what you are asking me exactly. First question, I got it, that you are saying that Quran, as somebody told you, that Quran says that it is the same thing that has been there, descended to um, the prophets before Muhammad. And that you are asking that where is it in Quran? Yeah, where is it saying the Quran that whenever the Quran says it's a confirmation reminder of that which is before it, it's only when the Bible says, "Hero Israel, the Lord the God is one." Confirmation reminder meaning meaning that whatever reminder came from uh, God, it is the same thing as Quran is telling you. That's what you you mean, right? Uh, well, I don't know. As the last guy I talked to on here, he said that whenever the Quran says it's a confirmation reminder of that which is before it. It's when the Bible says, Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one. But you know something? I couldn't find it in the Quran that that's the reason when it says, Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one. So what? Okay. So when, when, you, when, when the Quran does say it's a confirmation reminder of that which will be for it, is that well, talking... What do you mean by... No, no, let, let me try to understand it. What do you mean by confirmation reminder? What does that mean, actually? Well, the Quran, I'm not familiar with the... The Quran says uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a confirmation reminder of the previous scriptures, the before scriptures, also the confirmation and reminder of that which would be for it. And uh, I always took that as, well, that means the Bible. But m m Muslims say, no, the Bible's uh, corrupted. It's actually saying, it only says that when it's a hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one. And that's the only time it, it's re uh, confirming and reminding of the Bible because the Bible's corrupted. So it's only when the Bible says, Hero Israel, the Lord, the God is one. But where it, I couldn't find that in the Quran that that's the reason why uh, the Quran says it's a confirmation reminder of that one should be for it, i.e. the Bible, or the okay. Injil, or the Torah, I can, I can, or the Zubur. I mean, if I say it in simple terms, uh, you are asking that if there is a passage in Quran that says that Hero uh, it is a reminder, as the reminders were sent before, like uh, the Hero Israel, the Lord book of God's Abraham, word. the book of Jesus, the book of uh, Moses, something like that, right? All, well, all I know is, is that it's the Quran says it's a confirmation reminder of that which is before. And it says that if you are in doubt about the Quran, go to those who read the before scriptures. And uh, I've read the before scriptures, but it seems to me if you went to read, if, if you took, if you took the, uh, the Quran up on that and you went to me, how are you not sure that you won't get shirk or hear that Israel belongs to the Jews, you know? Because you read the before scriptures, you can get that. And where do you find, well, it's only to find out that Muhammad was a true prophet. That's why you go to those who've read the no, before scriptures. There, there, are, there are multiple questions you are putting in one thing. Okay, well, what does, uh, you, uh, what does Quran... If you could give me, like, one at a time, Okay. I can probably... All right, well, I'll take the... 
I'll take I'll take Quran 1094 because uh, he said that it's if you're in doubt about uh, the when it says if you're in doubt about the Quran, go to those who read the before scriptures. It's to ask them if someone can become a prophet. And I think, well, where does that say that in the Quran? For it means Quran for Quran 1094. 10, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me get that passage out so that I can read it. Okay. And I can exactly. Yeah, yeah. Check what, check uh, out Quran 1094. Sure, let me just give me one. Oh, okay. Second. Okay. Let me open that portion. Okay, you are saying 10, that means the chapter 10. Yeah, uh, Surah 10, nine, verse 94. 94, you are saying. Yeah. Okay, that's Surah Yunus. Know, yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, it is there that um, if you are in doubt what is being um, uh, sent on you, um, to Muhammad, uh, go to those who, who not, not, not only Muhammad, because Muhammad is the one who is receiving and uh, oh, okay, so it's 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 to, it's to a Muslim. If you if you if you, if you a Muslim are in doubt about what we've sent, in other words, Quran. Don't don't give me my answer. Okay, well, if then you're give me a question. Okay, if I'm, you're I'm, asking I'm, me a question. Yeah, okay, go ahead, read it. Read it. Me, if you are asking me a question, let me answer that. Uh, exactly. So don't, go ahead. Don't give me the answer. I, uh, okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. So when the Quran talks about people who are in doubt about Quran, do you think it is Prophet Muhammad or the Muslims who are in doubt in, about Quran or somebody else? Well, I'll let you ask. I'll let you answer. Okay. okay. If our understanding is somebody becomes a Muslim only when he stops doubting the Quran and he believes in it. Before that, he's not a Muslim. And obviously, Prophet Muhammad is the first of the Muslims of this time. Uh, we actually believe that even Jesus and Moses were Muslims because they believe in God and Abraham and so on. So when Quran says, uh, and it is right here, right in front of me, this is Surah Yunus, it says, if you are in doubt concerning that which we reveal, uh, 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 here it says, that's the English translation. Let me go to the original one. فَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي شَكٍّ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَوْنَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ Yeah, and so it's saying that if you are in doubt, now this you does not mean exactly you, the one who I am giving the Qur'an. Because if uh, uh, the one yeah, who is... If you're a Muslim who is in yeah, doubt. You are in, not in doubt, so simply as that. So this is, this is uh, addressed. To the people who are in doubt, obviously those who are in doubt is neither prophet. Then they go to those who read the before scriptures. Yeah, these are the people who are listening to the Quran or who are the addressees of the Quran. And who are the addressees of the Quran? Those are the people who are the first uh, addressees, like the people of the Makkah. And the people of the Makkah, they were not literate, literate people. They were not the people who used to study and read and things like that. They were like, um, essentially, reading was not a thing that was prevailing in their society, generally speaking. In the society of Makkah at that time, only 17 people could read and write in the whole city. There were Jews and the Christians who were the custodians of the pre previous books, as we accept them as the book, uh, book from Allah. You talk about the Torah and Injil, God. right? The Torah and Injil yeah, and the Zabur? Yeah, the Old and the New Testament. And also, Quran talks about the book of Abraham the book of David. So it talks about those. So uh, they, they, these people are being directed that since you people are not even literate enough to read and write or do anything, go to the people who have knowledge of the previous. And I, I can tell you one incident in the life of the prophet. When the first revelation came, the prophet himself didn't know what is this because he has never learned about anything like that. So he came uh, to his first wife, Khadija, and he said, you know, these things, uh, these kind of things happen. Somebody came to me, he told me that he is the angel and things like that.